another new book this week for everyone. This is called Quinn's Promise Rock. And it is a cute story about two owls. This is the daddy owl. And this is the daughter owl. And it's a story about remembering that no matter where you go, God is always with you and you can take him wherever you go. So this is what I'm reading this week. Here we go. Quinn's Promise Rock. Written by Christy Thomas. Illustrated by Sydney Hansen. Quinn was a thoughtful little owl who always had a lot of questions. One night, Quinn and her father went flying together. As they soared through the forest, searching for some dinner, Quinn had a sudden, scary thought. Daddy? she asked. Yes, my little owl. What if I get lost? What if you dive and I don't notice? What if you get too far ahead of me and I can't find you? You fly so quietly. What if... Quinn. Quinn's father was smiling. He turned away slowly and started flying toward a mountain. Quinn followed him. Why wasn't her father saying anything? Quinn flapped her wings harder as they flew up, 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 and she started to breathe heavier. Where were they going? Her father circled around a huge stone on top of the mountain and then perched on it. Quinn landed and puffed hard as she tried to catch her breath. Daddy, she panted. Why did we come way up here? Her father lifted his wing and pointed toward the forest far below. Do you see that tree way down there? He asked. Quinn nodded. Do you recognize it? Quinn's bright owl eyes looked keenly at the tree, and then she blurted out, That's our tree! That's where our nest is! Her father nodded and said, This mountain will always be here. It never moves, and it will always show you the way to get home. Quinn, God is like this rocky mountain. God is always here. He never changes, and he will never leave. He will show you the way you should go. Quinn nodded thoughtfully. Suddenly, she felt a drop on her beak, and then another drop on her head. Her father spread his wings and started flying back down the mountain. Quinn followed. The rain started to come down faster, and the wind came in gusts. It pushed Quinn's little owl body this way and that, and she became frightened. Cold water poured off her feathers, and she could barely see her father through the raindrops. Her father slowed down and then landed inside a tiny cave on the side of the mountain. Quinn landed beside him and shook the water off her feathers. Her father lifted a wing, and Quinn snuggled underneath it to warm up. As the storm roared on, her father hugged her close and said, This cave is a safe place. It protects us from the wind and rain. Quinn, God is like this rocky cave. God can protect you during the scariest times in life. When you feel afraid, he is right there, just like this cave, and you can take shelter in him. Eventually, the storm stopped and the sky cleared. The stars came out, and Quinn and her father started off again under the shining moon. They flew silently through the night, sometimes swooping down to eat, but mostly just flying side by side. Just as Quinn was starting to get quite tired, her father dove toward the ground and landed right on the forest floor. Quinn landed beside him and looked at Pip, up at him with wide, wondering eyes. Quinn's father picked up a little rock with his talon and gave it to her. Then he looked into Quinn's eyes and said, if you tuck this rock into your feathers, you can carry it 
everywhere you go. You will feel it hard against your body. Quinn, God is like this tiny rock. Even though he is big like a mountain and safe like a cave, you can also carry him everywhere you go. God is always with you. Quinn's eyes grew even bigger. So if I get lost or scared, I can feel my little rock and remember that God is with me. That's right, my thoughtful little owl. God will show you the way you should go. He will be a safe place and he will always be with you. The sun began to rise and Quinn tucked the little rock into a safe place in her feathers. As she and her father flew home, she could hardly wait to tell her mama about this strange and wonderful night. Best of all, she would show her the little promise rock. The end. And the back of this here has some notes about the author and a little bit about um, sometimes when you feel scared when you're little or even when you're big. And then it has an cool fact about owls and it says owls are the quietest flyers because of the special feathers God gave them. This enables them to swoop down and capture prey without being noticed. That is why Quinn was so worried about losing her father. So that's Quinn Promise Rock. The end.